Have you ever sent out an email that you wish you could have recalled and so that person never got it in the first place? Well, you can through Outlook, but with some caveats. First of all, your company or organization has to be set up on a Microsoft Exchange server. Anybody outside of that setup, it won't work. So if you send an email to somebody that's on that Exchange server and you want to recall the message, it'll work. Let me show you. So let's pretend that I have this set up on the Exchange server and I'm sending a coworker who's on that server an email and later on I go, whoops, that was the wrong email, I shouldn't have sent that. To recall it, go to your navigation pane here and click on the sent items. Remember, it keeps track of all the emails you sent out. Then come over here, find the email that you sent that you wish you didn't, and then double click to open it up. Then up on the message tab in the actions group, click on other actions and go ahead and click on recall this message. You've got two options, delete unread copies or delete the unread copies and replace it with something else. If you choose this option and click OK, it opens up a new message where you can go ahead and type in a new message and click send. And then of course you do want to know if it succeeds or fails, right? So by default that's checked. Now this doesn't mean that the person you sent it to won't be aware that you tried to recall this message. I mean it will delete it if they haven't opened it up. If they've read it then you can't recall it. If they haven't, what will happen is, is that it will recall the message off the Exchange server, but it'll still have a copy in their inbox. The interesting thing is, is that when they double click to open up that copy, it'll just say that Kurt Kershaw recalled this message, and then they click OK. They don't know what the message is, but it just says that Kurt recalled it, so I guess that's not bad, as long as they don't read the message, right? Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.